This video is sponsored by Walsworth. Hey there, Creative Pro friends, Kara Plitch in a chair, and today I'm going to show you how to work with drop shadows in Photoshop. So here I have a layered PSD file, and I've got a text layer, and then I have a number of bits and bobs below it, some greenery bits, and some bits and bobs in the form of flowers that are in a folder here that are actually on top of the text. So as is often the case in Photoshop to really sell our composites, we need to have some realistic lighting and that means often drop shadows. So how do we do that? Where do we start? Let's take a peek at this layer here. So this is this leaf that is behind everything right here. So we wanna add a drop shadow to this with this layer selected, we're going to go down to the bottom of the layers panel and we're going to choose this little effects icon right there, which will give us this little pop up. And then we can choose drop shadow. So that's one way to work. I'm going to cancel this right now. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of annoying because you have to click here and you have to scroll. And then I have my dock popping up and it's like, what? Let's just avoid all of that. So another way to work is to just double click in an empty area. So next to the layer name in this area, if you double click, that's going to open your layer style window. However, now you have to choose the effect that you want to work with. So I like to think of this window as a trip to the buffet or a salad bar or something. So over here, we have all the different things on, at the buffet that you could choose to put on your plate. And then we have the settings. So for example, if we wanna add a drop shadow to our plate, then we need to come down here and click to enable drop shadow. But you, you wanna make sure that you click on the words because otherwise you're gonna be looking at these options here. So make sure if you're gonna add drop shadow to your plate that you click on the actual word. Now we can see a check mark here and we can see our drop shadow settings. All right, so here, look at this. In our image, we can see the shadow being applied. We can toggle the preview on and off if we're not sure where it's happening. So that looks pretty good. But of course, we can change the blend mode if we want, so you can play with that. Here we can choose the color. Maybe we want to choose a, our own like brown. Sometimes that can help sell it. And of course here we can adjust the opacity. So if we want a really intense shadow or something more subtle, down below that we can adjust the angle of the lighting. So if we want the shadow to fall in the bottom right of the object, then we want the light to be in the top left. So I like to think of this little thing as pointing to the light source. So over here, there is an option to use what's called global light. So if we enable global light, we can set the values for our drop shadow that will then apply to everything in this document. So sometimes it's great to use global light and sometimes it's not. Down here, we can adjust the distance. So how much distance is there between the object and the shadow? We can adjust the spread and the size. So the size changes the size of the theoretical light source and a larger size is gonna give you a softer shadow. So it's like a blur setting, essentially. Down below, you can play with some other really cool settings like contour, but for drop shadow, you're probably gonna just leave this as the default for most of the time. When we're happy with everything, we'll click OK. And let's see our document. Ooh, that looks, that looks really good. We can see now in the layers panel that this layer, layer nine, now has a drop shadow applied to it, which is indicated with the effects icon here. That also adds a little drawer to our layer so we can see that we've got an effect applied and which effect is it oh yeah it's a drop shadow we just added it so if we want to see it without that drop shadow we can either toggle a little eyeball here to toggle that on and off 
or if we had multiple multiple effects so we could hide them all by just clicking the effects eyeball right there we can also close the drawer to tidy up our layers panel by clicking the little carrot right here so that's great if we want to make changes to that we can just double click right on the effects icon to get back to our layer style dialog and we could click on the words drop shadow and then we can make those changes or if we open our drawer and we click right on the words drop shadow that will open up our layer style and it will do so with the drop shadow settings already active so now that we have that set up, how can we apply this drop shadow to all the other stuff? So one thing we can do is hold down the Alt or Option key, and then we can just click and drag either right on the drop shadow, like that. We can drag it and drop it on another layer. We could drag and drop the effects icon. If we had more than one effect, that would copy all of them. So we could do that a few times. And then, of course, we can also right click on this layer and choose from this long list. You have to scroll down, copy layer style. Then we could select these two layers here. So I'm clicking on one and shift clicking on the next one. And then I'll right click and again scroll and choose paste layer style. And now all of these different leaf bits have. That same layer style, in this case, just a drop shadow applied to it. We can also apply an, a layer style, in this case, a drop shadow, to a folder of layers. So here I have a folder that contains all these flowers. If we don't need the flowers to cast shadows individually, like onto each other, then we can right click on the flowers folder and we can also paste layer style to the folder. One thing to watch out for here is when you apply a layer style to a folder, it's applying that style as if all of these layers inside the folder were merged. So for example, if we want this flower here to be casting a shadow that falls also onto this flower here, then instead of pasting the style onto the folder, we would want to paste that drop shadow onto the individual flower layers. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Kara Plichinich. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy Photoshopping. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.